Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hi there Batty fans and welcome to another one of the videos featuring the place value pizzas. Um, if you don't know about those you can download these from the website www.battyboffin.co.uk You can download the large images and the small images for doing some of these. Now today we're going to be looking at doing some subtracting with the um, bit where you, you haven't quite got enough to take them away and you've got to, some people say, borrow it from next door or something like that. Um, so we're going to have a look at that and find my pens because I'm sitting on them. And we're going to do the sum, uh, let's have um, 251 and we're going to take away, oh I don't know, 176 let's say. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, <clears throat> we've got our hundreds, our tens and our units here. First thing we need to do is to set up that first number 251 so you get out your place value pizzas if you've got some of those or you can just draw them on a piece of paper and set out the number 251 pause the video while you do that now right your diagram should look like this we've got two boxes of a hundred so they're in the storeroom at the back two boxes of a hundred um, in your pizza shop you've got five stacks of ten on the shelves in the back so they've already been made are waiting to go into the oven so they'll be freshly cooked for your customers and on your counter waiting to be sold is just one fresh pizza there just out of the oven so you've got two hundreds five tens and one and you get a customer um it's a, obviously got a party because he wants a lot of customers he wants 176 pizzas so starting off in the units here your customer wants six pizzas problem you've only got one if, if you'd had eight pizzas there you could have given him six but you haven't you've only got one what are you going to do well fortunately you've got some on the shelves at the back so you take one of these packs of ten here and you unpack it shove them in the oven quickly and they, they cook through so we're taking one pack of ten and we're going to swap it for ten ones so I'm taking away one of those pop it down here and we're going to swap it for ten one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so these ten ones have come from this pack so i better take that away now so we've still got the same number of pizzas we've still got 200 and instead of 450 we've got 40 there now so that's 240 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. We've still got 251 pizzas. All we've done is unpack a set of 10 and turn it into 10 individual pizzas. Okay, so now this guy says, well, can I have my six pizzas? Yes, certainly you can. You can have six pizzas. So there are his six pizzas that he's buying. Next, he wants some stacks of 10. He wants seven stacks of 10. Well, you haven't got seven stacks of ten. What are you going to do? Well, you nip into the storehouse at the back where you've got some boxes of a hundred. Each of these boxes of a hundred contains ten stacks of ten. So you take one box and you unpack it. We're going to swap one of those for ten of those. Okay, let's just check, make sure we have actually got the same number of pizzas as we had before, 251. This time we've only got 100 in there, but that's 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 240, 251. Yep, we've still got 251 pizzas. All we've done is unpack a box of 100 and turn it into 10 stacks of 10. So now we've got quite a lot of stacks of 10 here. And your customer wants seven of them. Sure, that's fine. So two, four, six, seven. And these are the ones you've still got on your shelves now. And finally, your customer wants one box of a hundred. It's fine. You've got a box of a hundred, so you give it to him there. So, 251 pizzas altogether. Your customer has 176 of them. And what have you got left? You've got 70. And here is five of them. 
75 is the answer. Now let's do that again, but this time I won't do the pizzas. So I'll just get my rubber outer, whoop, which I'm also sitting on, and I'm just going to do it with the numbers. We should get 75 as the answer. So this is how we lay it out with the numbers. It's always the top number take away the bottom number. This is one take away six. It's not six take away one. Even if the bottom number's bigger, it's still the top take away the bottom. So one take away six, you can't do it. So we need to unpack one of these. So we'll take one of these fives and unpack it. That means there's only four stacks of 10, but each stack of 10 turns into 10 more here. So now we have 11, which if you remember, we had 11 here. So now we can do 11 take away the six. When we do 11 take away six, we're left with five. Now we need seven stacks of 10, but we've only got four in the shop. So what do we do? Go to the warehouse. We've got two boxes. Unpack one of the boxes. So now there's only one box left. But that one box makes 10 more of the stacks of 10. So now instead of having four, we've got 14 of them. And as you can see, we had 14 there. 14, take away the seven that the customer wants, leaves you with seven on your shelves. And in the warehouse, one box, take away the one box that your customer wants, leaves you with no boxes. So 75. 75. That works beautifully. See you next time for another one of these Batty Fans. <laughs>